Albert Joseph Moray, 1841 to 1893, he was an English painter associated with the ascetic movement of the late 19th century, known for his executist and idealized depictions of classical and mythological subjects. Moray's works are characterized by their metrical attention to detail, harmonies, compositions, and an emphasis on beauty and visual harmony. His art captured the separate of the era, focusing on the pursuit of artistic refinement and the celebration of aesthetic pleasure. Born on September 4, 1841 in York, England, Albert Joseph Moray came from a family of artists. His father, William Moray, was a successful portrait painter, and his siblings, John Collingham Moray and Henry Moray, also pursued careers in art. Albert received his early artistic training from his father and led study at the Royal Academy in London. Moray's early works were primarily focused on genre scenes and landscapes, but it was his interest in classical and mythological themes that would become his sec signature style inspired by the works of Renaissance masters and the classical ideals of beauty. Moray developed a unique artistic vision that blended classical subjects with a contemporary sensibility. One of Moray's notable works is a uh, musician 1860 which exemplifies his fascination with classical themes the painting depicts a female figure dressed in flowing drip planning a layer the emphasis on elegant lines delicate colors and a scenes of harmony in the composition reflects Morris dedication to creating pleasing work of art throughout his career Morris artwork evolved becoming more refined and mythological in his execution. He experimented with definite techniques using glazed and layering to achieve a luminous quality in his paintings. His works often further solitary female figures gracefully posed and surrounding by lush landscapes or intricate patterns. Moray's commitment to the pursuit of beauty extended behind his work. He was a permanent figure in the ascetic movement which rejected the notion that art should serve a moral or narrative purpose. Instead, Moray and his contemporaries champion art for art's sake. Today, Moray's work can be founded in various public and private collections.